Gautam Gambhir called time on his career after serving Indian cricket for 15 years. So what does Gautam Gambhir mean to Indian cricket? If we look at his numbers at the end of his international run, he averages a touch over 40 in tests, a touch below 40 in ODIs and a meager 27.41 in T20Is. These numbers might not be legendary, but one needs to scratch beneath the surface to understand the significance to be able to value Gautam Gambhir's contribution towards Indian cricket in its golden period. The Delhi batsman first caught the eye of the cricket world when he and Vinayak Mane put on 391 runs for the first wicket while following on in an under-19 match against England. It is still the highest partnership for any wicket in under-19 international cricket. Even though Gambhir made his ODI debut against Bangladesh in 2003, the opening batsman's career blossomed only in 2007. Playing in his first ever T20I tournament at the World T20, Gambhir top scored in the final with 75 runs to help India become the first world champions in T20 cricket. He finished as the second highest run getter in the competition with 227 runs. From 2008 to 2011, Gambhir had his best run in international cricket. First, he played a vital role in India's first ever Tri-Series win in Australia in 2008 by top scoring in the tournament with 440 runs. Then, Gambhir became a regular member of the Test side in the same year, forging a menacing opening pair with Virendra Sehwag. The pair has scored the fifth most runs among openers in Test with 4,412 runs in 87 innings. In 2009, Gambhir set the record for the longest innings knock in terms of minutes by an Indian when he batted for 643 minutes in the second test against New Zealand to save the match in Napier. India went on to win the series 1-0. In 2010, the Delhi batsman became the first and only batsman to score centuries in five back-to-back -back test matches. After being part of the World T20 winning team and the number one test side, Gambhi tasted the pinnacle of all three formats when he helped India win the 2011 World Cup. He was the top scorer among Indians with 97 runs in the final. Gambhi also holds a perfect record as ODI captain leading India to a 5-0 series win against New Zealand in 2010 and a victory against West Indies in 2011. But things turned for the worse quickly post the high of 2011. After going through a century drought in the 5-day format for a couple of years, the opening batsman was dropped from the test squad in 2013. Thereafter, Gambhir could never cement his place in the Indian team again. Following his exit, the Delhi batsman focused his energies towards the Kolkata Knight Riders in the IPL. He led the team to two IPL titles in 2012 and 2014. Gambhir returned to the Delhi Daredevils this year to change the fortunes of the side, but he failed miserably. He dropped himself from the team after only six matches, handing over the captaincy to Shreyas Iyer. Gambhir's fate was sealed when the franchisee released him ahead of the IPL auction this year. So Gambhir walks into the sunset by teaching us one lesson. If we play with passion and pride, then we can achieve anything.